Hey everyone, my name is Nishant. Today I want to walk you through the process of adding guest users to your team. We'll also show you how to edit their display name where possible. Before adding guest users to your team, you should ensure that you have the correct permissions for guests set up. In the Manage Teams section, you'll now see Guest Permissions submenu. There are only two options that allow team owners to explicitly control. The first is allowing guest users to create or update existing channels. The other is allowing guest users to delete channels. These values are set to false by default, but as a team can have many owners, it's always good to double check to ensure you are offering the experience you want to within the team. As you can see here, when I go to add a user that is not a part of this tenant, the option immediately appears to add them as a guest. This is the dialog that will appear for all users, regardless of the type of account they have. At this point, the service doesn't know if the user is a part of a domain that can be added. It is important to note that when adding a guest user to the tenant for the first time, you can change the display name. If you click on the edit pencil next to the user's suggested display name, a drop-down editor will show up, allowing you to change the user's display name. Regardless of what you change the user's display name to, the word guest will be added as a suffix to the display name to indicate to other members that this user is a guest. Once you click on the check mark, you'll see a preview of what the guest user's display name will be when added to the tenant. If you're adding a guest that has already been added to your tenant, the existing display name will get shown as the suggestion. The only way to now modify this is to have the IT admin of your tenant modify the display name in the admin portal. Only when you click the add button does the service verify whether this type of user can be added to a team. A successful addition will look like the following, where you can see that the user has been added as a guest on the right side. Guest users cannot be added as a team owner, so there isn't a dropdown to change their role type. At this step, the user has also now been added to your tenant with their fixed display name. Even if you choose to remove them from the team now and re-add them later, the option to change that user's display name can only be performed by the tenant admin in the admin portal. A notification will get posted to the general channel on the user being added, as you can see here. If the type of user you are adding is not a part of a valid domain type supported by the service, you'll see the following error dialog. You can add any email address that is associated with an AAD or Office 365 account today. We will be adding support for MSA users soon. Keep an eye on our Office 365 roadmap for more details on when other types of users will be added. I hope this was helpful. I've added links here to the support article we have around guest access. Also, I've added a link to our Office roadmap filtered by Microsoft Teams. Here you can stay up to date with our future release plans. Thank you, everyone, and we hope you are enjoying using Microsoft Teams. Thank you so much. This is Kara from Microsoft Teams signing off. Visit us at the technical community if you'd like to know more.